When can we get that to that, test? It's yours. You want the you want the keys right now? Yeah. Let's go. All right. Hold that pose. Maddie, do that thing sick. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Good, dude. How are you? I'm trying to break the internet with this one. Yeah, you are. How's it going? Tyler, what's up, dude? How are you? Good, how are you? Good. How many tattoos does your child have? <laughs> your baby? None yet. <laughs> Who knows what he'll do when he's my age, though? Good luck. What is the most asked question about Axis? Besides, can I get it? Uh, no, they're just pretty much just can I get it and when can I get it and why don't I have it? Welcome vital viewers to the 2019 Sea Otter Classic. There's more booze than ever here. Let's go find what's new. Brand new from Maxis for 2019. We have the Asagai finally available in a trail version. This is the EXO Plus version. Just a little bit lighter than a double down comes in 2.5 inch wide tire size and this will be available soon. Also got something fresh for the Groms. This is a 24 inch version of the Recon. This is a fast rolling tire with some decent corner knobs to keep it hooked in. Since you're winning slalom, who's getting second? Ron Lux. How much did Lopes pay you to get his number back? <laughs> I mean, we haven't we haven't negotiated it yet. We're still working out the terms. Since we know you're winning slalom, who's getting second? Oh man, too far. Um, probably not Kyle. If you're not winning slalom, who's winning? BD. Yeah. For sure. I'm. Uh, Betting on, on him, I'm putting my money on him. Okay, and that that POV where he was following you on the trail bike, were you trying to drop him? We've heard I you were. I was trying so hard, like I was fully pinned, and he was following. So I guess, oh my God, Is he's good? for the win, slalom and downhill here, for sure. Rumor has it that when you were following uh, Loris in that POV video, that you weren't even trying, and he he couldn't ditch you. It's true. In short, like five, ten second blasts, I'm good. Sean Estes, and I am with Fox Factory. So what would you say is the most common suspension setup mistake for the average rider? Probably the simplest one, SAG. I'm Sean Estes, uh, brand manager for Marzocchi, and we're here at Seattle Classic. What would you say is one of the most common mistakes that an average mountain biker has with their suspension setup. 100% it's rebound. A lot of people think it's sag, but like the Fox guys think it's sag, but they don't know anything about suspension. It's definitely rebound. We're gonna take a look at the all new Z2 today, which is definitely the highlight of Sea Otter for us this year. What you end up getting here is the ultimate trail fork. This is uh, uh, available in 100 to 150 mils travel in 10 millimeter increments. Um, available in 44 or 51 offset, which a lot of a lot of people these days are paying attention to things like that and really liking the, mostly preferring the 44 it seems. Has an all entirely new rail damper, which that's kind of a kind of a big story here. So rail damper is entirely new. It's exclusive to this fork for now. And um, it's, the damper itself is designed in Italy by Marzocchi engineers who have over 25 years experience with, with Marzocchi and specifically building suspension. So it's, this is, a, to be clear, this is a Marzocchi product through and through. And it is a hell of a fork. For $499 aftermarket in your choice of red or black, this is everything you need, nothing you don't. Um, I've been telling people basically you could spend more on a fork, but why would you? This is, this is the fork for 99% of trail riders. Uh, this is exactly what you need. Free pizza! This one is also the quinoa flaxseed crust with plant-based pepperoni. Come on, Jerry Cutter! Free vegan pizza! Good to see you. Congrats on that. Shoot me a two short lyric. Oh, this early in the morning?
All right, guys, we're here with 1UP. They've got some really interesting new handlebars. They're actually designed to flex a fair amount, which is different than your standard carbon bar. How much flex, or, or why are you guys trying to introduce flex into the bar? Basically, we try to combine the best features of 35 and 31.8. So, um, from a top profile, it's got most of the 35 diameter thickness to give you a lot of um, steering response. But then in the front profile, you can see that we've really thinned down this area here. Um, it transitions from 35 to the 22.2 as quickly as possible um, so that the bar flexes as much as possible in a good way. Also new this season, we've just launched the 1UP EDC stem. So it's available in 35 and 50 mil lengths. Um, and the really unique thing about this is the preload mechanism. So you'll spot that there's a third bolt on the stem here. What that does is it lets you run the EDC tool system without tapping your steerer and removes the star nut. So the way this works is if you look in here, you can see there's a conical wedge which is designed to integrate into the stem. Um, and as you tighten this, it pushes down this conical spacer, takes up the slack in your headset um, and preloads your system. Hey, come back. If he's 1100 watts, right. how many is that in horses? That's like 1.4 horses. From the waist down, baby. <laughs> the waist down. No, these are different. No, these are different. How many times have you been called the American Dream today? One now. The Xpedo's popular Spry pedal now comes in an alloy version weighing in at 333 grams. It's an oil slick variety. So what we're looking at here is called the Blu-ray. And then they also have a gold version called the Gold Slick. Right next to it here, this is the new Trident pedal. This bad boy is super aggressive. Really dig the looks of the pin placement on this one. Nice wide profile as well as chamfered edges all around to keep you rock strikes at a minimum. Where are the paws? Are they meaty? Are they well I got, done? I got a secret. Uh, so we're going to do a thing called Steel Lyle's Meaties, right? If you find me, you can take my grips off my bike. Uh, you got to come to me with three mil and say Steel Lyle's Meaties and I will give you a care package of meaties. Hey, this is Andrew from Cane Creek Cycling Components. We've got the Helm Work Series 130 here at the 2019 Sea Otter Classic. Essentially, we took our Helm platform and we optimized it for the cross country and aggressive trail riders out there, giving it a climbing platform. Shaved 100 grams off of the uh, complete assembly off our normal helm, eliminating the quick release axle system, so it's a bolt-on axle now, and uh, gave it a hollow crown to save even more weight. So, helm work series 130. Put it on your head. <laughs> right, what's it did. There you go. Wow. New from Blackburn. This is the Yakima Hangover Rack. They finally have one hitch rack style with the bikes mounted vertically. Pulls up six bikes in this model. They also have a four bike version. And you can see here how the bikes go on. So it fits right around your crown. The strap to keep everything in place. Don't look at it. Yeah, yeah. The bag, the bag. 
Brand new from Bell for 2019 is the Full 9 Fusion. This is a $240 MIPS equipped helmet that weighs in at 1,080 grams. It's got 10 vents, three brow ports, meets a bunch of different certifications, and comes in six different sizes. This is an exciting one for park riders, downhill riders. Just looking for a good looking, solid, dependable helmet with uh, MIPS rotational protection. <laughs> Yeah, dude. <laughs> the beer mount. Hey, Colin Bailey. Yeah. How can I put Elliot Jackson on the spot? Shit, man. I don't know. He he knows a little bit about everything. He ask him about horse racing or something. Who's gonna win the Kentucky Derby? Oh, I love um, I love uh, Husker Du for this one. What? Yeah. Husker Du is good. Husker Don'ts uh, kind of nipping at its heels. Um, the uh, the Kitty Chaser is also good, but um, I think Husker Du. Husker Du? What did he say? Or Husker Don't? Something like that. Oh man! Did you know this guy invented the Minion DHF? You know. <laughs> That is, uh, yeah, what you gotta say about that? <laughs> you will find. That's the tire on my bike. You will find. I wish you got royalties. I'd be a millionaire. <laughs> Dude, what a, a shame. A penny per knob. What a shame. Yeah. Adam, what do you got there, man? Shuttle flat. We're doing flat pedal shoes. It's about time, man. It is. Yeah. <laughs> it took me retiring for us to start working on this. Just get the foot out. Um, yeah, this has been a fun project. Been working on it for about a year now. Just working through different constructions and compounds and came up with, we've got this gripper rubber in the center for the pedal area that's a bit stickier but still wears decent and then firmer rubber on the toe and heel for hiking, kicking berms, whatever you might be doing. Um, hydrophobic poly upper and also laces. Got a handy little garage there for the laces to go in. Um, actual decent toe box protection which, yeah, good for kicking rocks or turns and it's a good shoe it's got a nice feel on the pedal the little bit different midsole construction so the insole comes out and is EVA foam and a little bit more impact absorption there and also gets out to get dry for you for the next day so spent a lot of time dialing in the stiffness of this as it relates to the outsole and got some pretty good feel. I like to have my bike be able to tell me what it's doing so I can hear that through here. We're here introducing the 2019 Giant Off-Road Footwear and uh, three big points we have to talk about today with our off-road footwear for this year are the motion efficiency system, the exo beam, and the exo wrap. Motion efficiency system is a technology that you will see from the Charge Pro all through the lineup down to the Flux and the heart and soul of the motion efficiency system is the exo beam. What you have is a carbon plate to give you the stiffness uh, and power transfer that you need in the fore, in the forefoot with the exo beam here to give you the torsional flexibility and give your foot a more natural movement uh, on the bike. The motion efficiency system here working and the exo beam working in conjunction with the exo wrap which is our system here, controlled by the BOA, which will pull the shoe up against your foot rather than pushing it down, giving you a more comfortable, more customizable fit, and also better arch support. Exo Wrap is a feature that you will see from the Charge Pro through the Charge Elite and into the line shoes. progress in one year. I've been working my way up, what can I say? It's okay. <laughs> it's all good. The tie beam. The tie beam. I thought I'd make you mad when I said yeah, it. Yeah, you want to Hey, Chris. Like, they turn and make that turn and it's just a long tailwind. Like, my bike or me? Rip it, 
you have to alter your suspension preferences due to the windy conditions? Yeah, you have to just lock everything out, keep everything on the ground. All right, brand new from MRP is the new Wave 2 chain ring. So what they've done on these guys is they've Good. made them quite a bit quieter and they've also improved durability. So that's a alternating uh, tooth pattern, it goes side to side to keep your chain on. And then they've got an update to the ramp control. This is called the Ramp Control Pro. And what it allows you to do is to put these spacers on, a volume spacer, just like you would in a traditional air sprung fork. But you also retain MRP's ramp control function. So it's two ways of adjusting your fork for even more control over your air spring. You may not know this, but MRP's forks are also fully customizable. You not only can you choose the spring type you want, you can choose the graphic decal, travel amount, offset options, and more. Should I tell him the story? Okay, um, so he got sick a couple years ago and he was wearing long johns and he pooed his pants in the long johns. <laughs> he was really sad about it and I came home to it and it was a really stressful day for us. So yeah, he's never told anyone any of that. Savage. Savage, your kid. Are you gonna ground her? No, you know, we teach honesty in this household. I think so, he's starting out with CBD sports drink. I don't know. I got it. What do you think about it? Like, I'll the guy in the 